Hey guys, uh, in today's episode, I'm going to cover the difference between the words yes and no, um, and how these simple words have such a large impact on our life. Hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, I uh, wanted to touch on a few a few things right now, and I think it's going to going to help provide a lot of value. And one of those, or really the main thing that we're going to be covering is uh, two simple words, you know, and that's the power of yes and no. Um, and the impact that most of the, most of those or those those two words can have on our lives, and how how great of an impact it actually has on our well being, you know, um, it's it's something that like you know we don't always we of course we need to set boundaries, but what I've been noticing lately in my own experience is that I've been using the words no and I'm too busy and I can't and I'm doing this as an excuse to keep myself. It's it's weird. It's like an excuse not to grow. You know, it's an excuse not to try something new. It's an excuse not try like to take whatever I'm doing to that next level, you know, and there's a reason I've been feeling pretty stagnant for a while. And it's because I'm in my own bubble. I'm not reaching out as much. I'm not as, you know, like recently I've been a little bit more active uh, on Twitter, but just in general, the attitude has just been no, 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 no for everything, you know, and every version that that, you know, and everything that spawns from that. Right. And that spawns these attitudes that um, and these delusions that I believe that I actually don't have enough time. But instead of saying, oh, cool, let's look into that or, oh, cool, I want to do that. How can I manage my time better? You know, I say no. And I choose to not look at how I spend my time. And I think part of it's a fear of being accountable. You know, it's, it's being accountable to yourself. Um, it's being accountable to myself. You know, and that like, I don't want to take a look at how I spend my time because my time is my time and I want to do what I want to do, right? Well, if I spend the entire time doing just what I want to do, you know, um, and what I, what I mean by that is like being lazy, like, you know, watching Netflix or just laying down or scrolling mindlessly on social media. That's what I, that's what I mean by that, you know? And so if I just do what I want to do the entire time, um, nothing is going to ever get done. And I feel... I feel that there's a lot of, and not just with me, but I've seen this a lot of things where we, there's a lot of, a lot of belief that like the world owes us something, right? And that like, you know, if I'm just going to, if I'm just going to constantly say, no, I'm too busy and no, I'm too busy, something's just going to pop open in my lap. That's not how this works. I mean, that's not how this is work. This works at all. Like never once did anyone successful saying, I just sat around and success came to me, Right. Um, and when, when I, when I really chose to take a look at my actions and how much time I was actually spending doing these things, it was jack shit. Right. And one thing that really, um, one thing I really noticed is that when, you know, when I'm trying to produce these things, I, I'm constantly telling myself, my mind is constantly saying, no, you're not good enough or no, you can't do it or no, it's not going to be good enough. Or, oh my God, you know, you're not getting a, enough likes or you're not getting enough engagement or you're not, you're not, no, no, no. It's all of these voices that are consistently telling me that none of this is worth anything, right? That it's not going to be possible, that it's not going to, um, that it's not going to work, you know? And it's, I've been so focused on results versus taking action and I've been so focused, you know, on, so I, I've been so focused on things that actually don't matter, Right? There's a thing where it's like, I actually, it's, it's been crazy. The, I had someone who reached out and said, you know, I really enjoyed, you know, your blog posts, you know, um, and, and my, and they're like, I read all of them, you know, but my mind at the time of writing those is like, oh, it's not getting any likes. It's not getting any engagement. It's not getting this. It's not getting that. And it's like, what I, I, I really forget what, you know, what one of the true reasons I got into this for is that's to help people. Just because someone doesn't heart it or like it or leave a comment doesn't mean that what I was doing isn't providing value. Apparently, it provides plenty of value, and I would go to say the same for you, right? But we're so we're so honed in on like, oh, you know, it only got one like, or oh, only one person commented on it, oh, you know, this. But guess what? That person took time out of their day to do that. Number one, and number two, you know, value is not predicated on. You know, value is not predicated on how many likes or how much engagement that you actually get because the real difference is how much value it provides to someone. And that's something that really can't be measured. You know, um, it's really something that can't be measured on, you know, on a social media platform. Um, so it's, it's a pretty cool thing. And, and I realized that like, you know, I spend, yeah, I am busy. 
Um, I am busy doing things, but I'm spending a lot more time on certain things than, than I should, right? Dragging video editing out, dragging, you know, typing out a tweet out, dragging, you know, like, you know, an Instagram post out because I don't want to use the hashtags. It's a, a lot of it is just pure fucking laziness, man. Like it's just pure fucking laziness and a fear of holding myself accountable because I'm afraid of what I think of myself. I'm afraid of what other people think of myself. That's a complete load of shit, right? The bottom line is that these these platforms and these tools that we have make it easier than ever to share things out. And guess what? I got into this because you know what? I have a, I have a great story to tell. I'm a recovered heroin addict and you know my story, believe it or not, actually helps people contrary to what my, my, my own mind tells me. Right. And so there's a lot of things I have to share, but if I'm constantly being plagued by this, I can't, nothing is ever going to get shared, you know, and I would challenge, I would challenge you to really take a look at that, you know, within your own life, whether, whether you're a streamer, a content creator, whether you're, you know, whether you're working a nine to five job, whether it's with your kids, whether it's with your family, watch the attitudes of like, I can't, and I won't. And, and all these things that put up walls around us to keep us in our comfort zone of misery. Right. And that's really all it is. Like sometimes it's like sometimes it's comfortable to stew in our own shit, but really, really take a look and see like what is it that you're saying no to that you really want to say yes to? What is your mind saying when you say no? Are you really that busy? Being honest with yourself and being accountable to yourself to me is probably one of the most valuable things, you know, that you can have if you want to succeed in this. Right. If, not not even just in Twitch stream, but really in whatever the hell you want to do. Uh, because if we're not honest with ourselves, if we choose not to look at certain things, you know, we're really robbing ourselves of having an experience of being happy. You know, and I think that's really all kind of what we're searching for here. You know, we just want it. We want to feel secure. We want to feel happy. We want, you know, we want all the things we want to accomplish our dreams. But as as easy as it is on the Internet, you know, to succeed there's a huge lack of entitlement of like, you know, things should just be handed to me and that, you know, like I'm not also not good enough at the same time. It's so weird how like the, the thoughts, like, like how, like how the, it's, it's just, it's just weird. Um, you know, and I'm going on a bit of a ramble there, but, um, I've noticed one thing I just wanted to share is that the moment I started saying yes, um, all of a sudden, when that attitude has taken place, everything seems to have just fallen in place. And it's kind of strange. All of a sudden, I'm posting multiple pieces of content a day on different social platforms, and it feels phenomenal. You know, and, and my, the reason for posting is not, oh, man, will people like this? Oh, will people, how many comments will this get? Oh, it's, it's really, it's to provide value. And knowing that I have value to provide is a huge first step. So if you're stuck on like, is, is what I'm doing providing value? If you have the right intent and the right motive behind it, then absolutely. If your sincere motive is to help someone, fucking do it, right? That's the whole point in this. And that's what makes it so easy to make such a positive impact with people on the internet, right? We, we choose to only see the toxicity in things and we choose to say we see one toxic person or one you know, one toxic person in a certain, like that acts a certain way and we think everyone's like that, right? And then we start engaging in negative behavior on social media and guess what? All that shit shows up on our timeline. You know, like we attract what we promote, you know, and if we're, if we're throwing out positivity, if we're throwing out and not necessarily just like, not like delusional positivity, like genuine, like being genuine, right? Just, I think that's the, the better word because I think we can get too caught up in, being, you know, quote unquote positive when that can be a dangerous tool to just hide what we're really feeling, right? It's really just being genuine, whether, whether you're having great experiences, whether you're having not great experiences. Um, and when you start doing that, that's the kind of shit that shows up in your life and life becomes a lot easier, right? All of a sudden the purpose is being fulfilled and all of a sudden my happiness isn't predicated on how many likes or comments or retweets or shares that I get on something that I post, right? It just, it's, it just is what it is, you know? And it's, it's about staying relevant and about consistently providing value to people. And so I've, 
I've noticed a tremendous, a tremendous amount of, you know, satisfaction and really a huge awareness around my attitude towards things, you know, and how pessimistic I've really been. Um, when I say I can't and I won't and I do this, I'm completely shutting myself off, right? It, it's, it's, it, I use this tool that's normally great to create a healthy boundary as an excuse to really keep myself from elevating, you know? Um, and, and we all, we all do that. I mean, we're all human, you know, um, we're all human. We all have this thing that is limiting us. We get in our own way. So I hope you guys provide it. Got some, um, got some good value out of that because it's been, it's been pretty profound for me. It's been really profound actually. And all of a sudden I don't feel like a hypocrite when I'm watching videos about entrepreneurs. I don't feel like, you know, I don't feel like there's this like thing of like me not being good enough because I'm learning as this thing goes on, you know, and I'm not going to know what the right thing is until I figure out what the wrong thing is. And I'm not going to know what my path is until I try it a couple different ways and see which one works best. Like I'm not going to know, basically I'm not going to know the answer before I fucking start. And I think that's where we get caught up is we're so afraid of taking risks that we don't do things. We don't take action on what we want to do. We have a thought. We have this thing that could be really cool, but we want to know if it's going to work or not before we fucking do it. You know what I mean? And I just think that's such a, it's such a silly way to live, but yet we all do it. And we're so focused on like, we're so focused on that. Um, But no one, no one ever said I knew the answer. I mean, guess what? Life would be pretty fucking boring if we all knew what the right thing to do was. You know, part of it's part of the fun is like doing this and guess what? We learn through our mistakes and we become a better person from it and we figure out what way works. You know, um, it's part of falling in love with the process of doing this. And I've been preaching that, but it's funny. I've been acting the exact opposite internally. You know, um, I'm falling in love with it, but I'm yet telling myself that I can't do it. And then I'm limiting myself to, to just what I'm currently doing. It's time to evolve guys. I mean, it's, it's time to evolve out of whatever whatever like little zone that you're in. Because guess what? You know, you only get one of these lives. And the power that we have just in the palm of our hand and a device that we can put in our pocket is pretty it's pretty miraculous. Right? The 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 ability to make a difference in someone's lives, you know laying in your bed recording a podcast like I'm doing right now. Um, it's just, it's, it's fucking insane. It's insane how we have these things that can make such a difference. Um, and, and, and whether it's on your, in your phone or in real life or like whatever the case may be, is that start telling yourself yes. Start challenging yourself and start holding yourself accountable. Because if you're not accountable to yourself, you can't be accountable to anyone else. Right? Oh, I... Again, um, wanted to share that experience with you. Um, it's been it's been pretty it's been pretty magnificent, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.